What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Thursday, April 7th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top DFS picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, MLB is back. We have a nine game slate here on FanDuel and the slate size is a little bit smaller on DraftKings, but all these picks in this video will apply to both main slates on DraftKings and FanDuel. So let's get into it. We've got a bunch of fantastic picks for you here on opening day. So at the pitcher position, I like Shane Bieber and he's pitching against the Kansas City Royals. Shane Bieber is, he only gives up a .618 OPS versus righties and a .393 OPS versus switch hitters. He's facing four righties, two switch hitters, and on top of that, the Kansas City Royals have only hit 31 of his last 121 pitches. That's a .256 batting average. Shane Bieber is 10,400 FanDuel salary, 2,100 less on DraftKings, projected at 38.4 fantasy points here tonight. Last season, he had an ERA of 3.17. His record was 7-4, and, and he was pitching an average of 97 pitches per game. He was averaging 42 fantasy points per game last season, and he's going to be about 33% owned. So I like Shane Bieber here versus the Kansas City Royals. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Jake Cronenworth, and he's going to be batting against Madison Bumgardner. Jake Cronenworth is batting a .773 OPS versus lefties. And Madison Bumgardner, he's giving up a .637 OPS versus lefties. But I like this pick because Jake Cronenworth is 3 for 7, batting a .429 and a 1.357 OPS versus Bumgardner. So excellent player versus pitcher history here, batter versus pitcher history. I like those stats. And you're gonna get a discount with this pick. He's 3,100 FanDuel salary, 1,100 more on DraftKings, projected at 10.4 fantasy points here tonight. He averaged 10 fantasy points per game on the season last year, and he's gonna be about 6% owned. So I like Jake Cronenworth here versus Madison Bumgardner. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, now I got a super value play. His salary is low on both sites. I like Austin Nola batting against the low salary pitcher, Madison Baumgartner. Austin Nola bats 20% better versus lefty pitchers batting a .811 OPS versus lefties. And Madison Bumgardner pitches 12% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .724 OPS versus righties. And Austin Nola is three for six, batting 500 and a 1.167 OPS versus Bumgardner. 
He's only 2,200 FanDuel salary, only 900 more on DraftKings. He averaged seven fantasy points per game on the season last year, but he closed out the season scoring 13, 13, and 22 fantasy points in his last three games. Only gonna be about 4% owned. So I like Austin Nola here versus Madison Bumpgardner. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Aguardo Escobar with a 24% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Aguardo Escobar is batting 10% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a .838 OPS versus lefties, and Patrick Corbin pitches 14% worse to switch hitters as he does lefties, giving up a .892 OPS versus switch hitters. Aguardo Escobar is two for eight. That's a 2.50 uh, batting average and a .875 OPS versus Corbin. And one of those hits was for a home run. Aguardo Escobar is 2,900 FanDuel salary. 1,200 more on DraftKings, projected at 12 fantasy points here tonight. He was averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season last year, and he's going to be about 21% owned. So I like Aguardo Escobar here versus Patrick Corbin. Okay, another second base player that I like, also eligible at the outfield position, is Cattell Marte. And... He's batting a .786 OPS versus righties. And you Darvish, he pitches his worst ball by far to switch hitters. 25% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .923 OPS versus switch hitters. And I like this pick because Cattell Marte is 8 for 18 batting a 444 batting average in a 1.141 OPS versus Darvish. He's 3,400 FanDuel salary, 1,300 more on DraftKings, projected at 10.7 fantasy points here tonight. He averaged 11 fantasy points per game on the season last year, going to be about 6% owned. So I like Cattell Marte here versus you Darvish. Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. I like Austin Riley with a 57% batting advantage over Tyler Mall. Austin Riley is batting 23% better versus righty pitchers, batting a .943 OPS versus righties. And Tyler Mall, he throws his worst ball by far to righty batters. 34% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .847 OPS versus righties. And Austin Riley is two for three, batting a 667 batting average and a 2.334 OPS versus Maul. Austin Riley is 3,600 DraftKings, uh, 3,600 FanDuel salary, 1,800 more on DraftKings, projected at 9.7 fantasy points here tonight. He averaged 11 fantasy points per game on the season last year, and he's gonna be about 9% owned. So I like Austin Riley here versus Tyler Mall. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. I like Francisco Lindor with a 9% batting advantage 
over Patrick Corbin. Francisco Lindor is batting a .692 OPS versus lefties, and Patrick Corbin is giving up a .892 OPS versus switch hitters. And I like this pick because Francisco Lindor is 5 for 15, batting a 333 batting average. Now only a .733 OPS versus Corbin, but I like that batting average in a pretty good sample size. And Francisco Lindor is 3,800 FanDuel salary, only 800 more on DraftKings, projected at 13.3 fantasy points here tonight. He averaged 10 fantasy points per game on the season last year, going to be about 18% owned. So I like Francisco Lindor here versus Patrick Corbin. Okay, another shortstop that I like, also eligible at the outfield position, is Ahmed Rosario with a 9% batting advantage over the low salary pitcher, Zach Grinke. Ahmed Rosario, he's batting a .655 OPS versus righties, but Zach Grinke, he pitches his worst ball by far to righty batters. 30% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .833 OPS versus righties. And Ahmed Rosario is 4 for 10, batting 400 batting average and a .800 OPS versus Grinke. He's 2,500 FanDuel salary, 1,700 more on DraftKings. Projected at 9.7 fantasy points here tonight. Averaged 9 fantasy points per game on the season last year. And he's going to be about 24% owned. So I like Ahmed Rosario here versus Zach Grinke. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. I like Andrew Benatendi with a 29% batting advantage over Shane Bieber. So if you're playing Shane Bieber, you can skip this pick, but if you're gonna play a different pitcher, take a look at Andrew Benatendi, who's batting a .745 OPS versus righties, and Shane Bieber, he pitches his worst ball by far to lefty batters. 35% worse than his other pitches, giving up a .945 OPS versus lefties. And look at Andrew Benatendi. He's 9 for 16, batting a .562 batting average and a 1.588 OPS versus Bieber. So excellent batter versus pitcher history here in a big sample size. And Andrew Benatendi is only 2,900 FanDuel salary. He's 1,200 more on DraftKings, projected at 9.7 fantasy points here tonight. He averaged 10 fantasy points per game on the season last year. Then it looks like he's going under the radar, only going to be about 2% owned. So I like Andrew Benatendi here versus Shane Bieber. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this MLB slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.